I guess when you, when you come onto campus, you come in with a group. Yeah, with like the same recruiting routes. class, right? But those of you who don't redshirt don't go out together. Mm. You, know, you guys go out a year before. Yeah. Do you feel closer with the guys who you're going out with now or the guys who you came in with? I mean, I would say you feel closer to the guys that you came in with, yeah. so the guys that are a year behind. But at the same time, I'm pretty close with the guys that are a year ahead of me. But definitely, I mean, the freshman year is the time where you meet most of your guys. You live together and stuff like that. So, I mean, you're pretty. I'm pretty close with most of the guys in my class, but a lot of them are already gone. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. reflect uh, on your time here in this in the past week, knowing that it's senior day? Have you reflected at all? Yeah, I have definitely. Just knowing, I mean, thankful for all the wins that we had. I mean, thankful for just being able to play football. Didn't haven't missed a game since I've been here. So, I mean, that's something that I mean, you look back on. And I'm, Thankful for that. I mean, you look back and you'll see in a couple. I mean, a couple years from now, you're going to be looking back and just thinking about all these wins and stuff like that. And I mean, at the moment, you don't you take it for granted. But when you look back at stuff, everything that we accomplished, I mean, couldn't ask for anything more. You are you happy with your decision to come back for your senior year? Yeah, definitely. I'm happy. I mean, I haven't really been haven't really thought about it at all since I came back. And I mean, I'm happy that I came back and got to grow as a person. Marcus did made the same decision. He's a guy in your class, though he's a junior and could come back next year if, if he wants. Um, what do you think about his career? You've been here watching him, you know, on the other side of the ball, obviously. Mm -hmm. What do you think about what he's done and, and his career here? I mean, since day one he came in, you knew he was going to be a special player. And, I mean, it's fun to watch a guy like that on the opposite side when we're not um, going over the series before you get to watch somebody like that on the field, on the field and you get to learn from him. I mean, I use Marcus as a, a way to learn from when I get on the field and play against somebody. When you're playing against somebody that great every day at practice, it just brings the best out of you. Who gets the better, you or him, when you guys are going up against each other? I know obviously you're not doing it much in season, but you know spring, fall camp, when there's offense, defense, competition days, who, who gets the better, you or Marcus? I mean, I don't know. It really depends. I mean, Marcus is one of those guys, and you have the guy covered, he still makes the throw. So, I mean, he's... You're, it's mostly you're, when you're a DB, you're going against the receiver, yeah, but sure. for the most part, I mean, I feel like Marcus is one of those guys that, I mean, I know I have to be on my A game, I have to make sure I go through the play. You can't expect to make the play, especially when you play a guy like Marcus, you have everything covered, and he sees the last guy come out the flat quick, and he makes that throw. So, I mean, yeah. just playing with a guy like that, I mean, I can't say that anyone's got the best of either one, but, I mean, he's one of those guys that, I mean, every day you look at him and you, I mean, you can't, thank him enough really I mean he's one of those guys that brings out the best in our entire team I feel like he's taking our team to a different level speaking of going up against receivers you guys are facing statistically one of the best in the country in Nelson Spruce against Colorado mm -hmm. you know, on Colorado uh, from looking at him on tape and then going up against him before what is what does he do well I mean he catches everything he catches the ball if it gets thrown to him he's one of those guys that I mean, no matter where it's thrown, he's going to go up and go get it. So he's one of those guys you have to make sure you challenge every throw. Don't give him anything easy. And when he makes a tackle, you got to stop the game right there. When you go up against a team that has one receiver who's going to catch, I think he has twice as many catches as everybody else on the team. Is there a certain strategy as a defense that you take to, to defend against a team like that? Definitely. I think you, I mean, you definitely have to try to take him out the game and force somebody else to beat you. I think that's where it starts, but at the same time, I mean, they have other guys that they can throw the ball to. Another guy has 45 catches. So, I mean, you have to take away their number one threat, and that's what we try to do with every team that you play against. You take them away, and then they have to go to something else. So I think that we're going to try to contain Spruce as much as we can and force them to get it to their freshman receiver and I mean, force them to give it to the running backs and, I mean, spread the ball around, see how good they're going to be. Next, finally, what do you see out of their quarterback? Lee Files, he's put up some, some numbers this year. Yeah, I mean, he's a good quarterback. I mean, he's young still. I mean, he definitely is still learning, still learning how to read coverages, still learning how to audible, pick up, change um, protection and stuff like that. But, I mean, makes all the throws. He does a good job of leading his team, and he's one of those guys, like you said, he has a lot of yards passing, so he's obviously doing something right. Thanks, Take care.